You were on the Forbes Billionaires list at one point when Infospace went public, and then suddenly you disappeared from the Forbes Billionaires list. It was kind of like the rise and the fall of the dot-com, the boom and the bust. And then you re-emerged, not on the Billionaires list, but you went from Infospace and then you started Intellius and Moon Express is your latest venture. What is the commonality between all three? They seem like very different companies, aside from just technology. Well, on the surface, they all look the same, but fundamentally, they all have something in common that we always try to find what are the things that we can do that can fundamentally change the way people are doing things. So you never get involved in something that's not a good business. So you ask me what's common amongst all three? The commonality is that all three are good businesses. And so with Intellius, are we, are we talking, I mean, if it's such a good business, are we talking IPO at some point? Absolutely. And Absolutely. And then we'll see you back on the Forbes Billionaires list Well, again. you know, how do you know that I shouldn't be on the Forbes Billionaires list now? I know. <laughs> Really? How should we not know? Well, you know, idea is... Should not, we? Should well, we be on the Forbes Billionaires list? <laughs> well, it's really, in some sense, uh, after a while, the, it's not about... The success is not defined by the amount of money you have in the bank, but success to me is really defined by the amount of positive impact you can have on the society. So my definition of success is completely changed to from having money to about how can you use the resources that you have, the knowledge that you have, the, the financial resources you have to be able to impact billion people around the world. Aside from your businesses, yeah. you are very passionate about educating women. We're here at Singularity University where you have two young women that you've really invested and you've sponsored to come here from Africa, go through the 12-week program over the summer, and they've come up with these amazing projects that they're going to bring back to Africa. You went through Singularity University, yeah. and you were chosen by Naveen. Yes, as an Intellius Fellow. And I'm really privileged to have been chosen to come. What about your project? So, so our project is about uh, empowering twin girls, that's between the age of four, and uh, twin and teen girls actually, between the age of four and 19. We have created a, a platform on which girls of all these ages can be able to meet and interact and learn from each other. Because we are now living in a world of accelerating technological change, and in this world, there are skills that they need to learn. What is your project that you're implementing? What is your company that's developed through being here at Singularity University? The company that we're forming is called Play Energy, and it's about making energy efficiency fun, rewarding, and easy. And so Play Energy is a multi-level game, and so if you're not a gamer, you just win rewards and fabulous stuff for being more energy conscious. So you save on your electricity bill, and you get like prizes, and that's always nice. And then as you progress, and you can, you know, if you are a gamer, you can really get involved in a multi-level, multiplayer online reality game. When you educate a man, you educate a person. But when you educate a woman, it fundamentally changes the family, it changes the community, and in fact, it changes the village. And the idea is that women, in fact, when they become independent, not only um, they get the self-confidence, they don't get abused. They're able to become independent in terms of able to educate their own children. They're able to go back and invest 70% of what they earn back in the family rather than about 30% what man earns. So I think educated women really educates the whole family and the community.